Title blocks are essential for construction drawings. They contain information about the project notes, the project architect, the project name and where it is located, client information, and so on and so forth. But also important is the sheet information because it contained the numbering system. In case any of the pages goes missing and is later recovered, the pages can be stacked up in the right order of sequence. So in this video, I'd like to share with you the best practice on how to create a title block within ARCHICAD. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link to where you can download the templates that I like to use for all my title blocks, starting from A4 all the way to A1. All right. Without much further ado, let's get started. So first of all, where in ARCHICAD should we draw the title block? Well, you may think that we should just draw it in the floor plan, just like everything else, except no. And that's because ARCHICAD has a designated place to draw title blocks. By now, you should be familiar with the project map, which is the very first icon the default place where you draw everything that you want to in within the software. But then after that, we have the second icon, which is the view map. So if you have watched any of my previous videos, you should be familiar with what the view map does. And that is to save the drawings that you have created before. If I scroll down here, you can see the things that we saved together within the series of this training. And now today we are going to explore this third icon, which is the layout book. So when I click onto that, you can see that we have a bunch of things happening here. And these are views ready to place on a physical paper. You can see that we have sheets in this area. And I did, re I did receive a message that asked me to show you how to save multiple pages in one PDF. And that's not a video for today, but watch out for it. It's coming out soon. These can actually be saved within one PDF. So what I would like to draw your attention to is the master layout. So you scroll down and you can see the masters that are available. So we have A1, A4, A3, A2 and A1. And any of these, you can go in here and you can be able to draw your title block and you can see that by default ARCHICAD has pretty decent title blocks and all you have to do is to go in and modify what you are seeing right here so that's what we were going to do in this video so for now we're going to delete everything such that we start from scratch and you know what we're just going to keep everything but on the side so we're going to select everything and take it on the side so i'm going to uh, actually i think i may need this boundary one so i'm holding down shift clicking on it such that i am able to retain it so we can take the rest of the things out now i'm leaving this because it needs to guide us because sometimes when you draw uh beyond this place the things may not be printed everything that is within this blue thing it should be able to be printed so this, so now we have a canvas to work with and that is the a4 size and so first thing to note is that uh, none of these tools in the toolbar will work so you don't expect to draw walls and beams in this space but what you want to actually do is to open up the document tab because in document you can see a lot of stuff that can actually be used and what we're interested in is the polyline. That's what we want to begin with, to demarcate a space where we want to work from. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and draw my shape, especially at the bottom of this thing. And just be and the reason why I left this is so that it can help me in demarcating where the stuff should stop. Now, how high should it be? I think mine is going to be as small as possible. And why? It's because some of this information that I see in this drawing aren't going to be that necessary for me. Things like drawing name, scale and status, that stuff is going to be on the drawing itself. So I'm going to make this a smaller height. So I'm going to choose something like 30 in that dimension too. If I click tab, you can see that that's the final dimension. That's that dimension right there. Click tap again. I have the other dimension where I want to put in 30. And that is 
quite enough for me and i want to make something like a small box in here so i'm going to select this one create a copy by duplicating and how do you duplicate you right click move drag a copy right there and put it in the same place so double click in other words so that second copy that we have just made is what i want to offset so clicking on any of the sides when we hit here you can see offset all edges so i want to offset all edges by one millimeter and i say okay and that's what i wanted to achieve so this is how thick my title block is gonna be so how do i add that thickness in there so i'll pick a fill and make it give it a foreground color which foreground color is going to be black and that's all so holding down spacebar i will click onto this box which is on the outside and you can see it's been created but then we have to remove that one on the inside so again with the fill selected i click on the side and subtract the space which is within holding down spacebar and that is the border that i wanted to create which means that we no longer need those uh, polyline so i can go in and select them so make sure that polyline is selected or otherwise it would be hard for you to select them and delete them good now you can see the red lines disappeared all right so now we want to import in the logo company logo first and i have already prepared it so i will come here and i think i need this white on black version and i will just drag and drop in here pretty cool and now i can get this and position it correctly by dragging ctrl d and place it somewhere here and now i need to scale it down because obviously that's way too big and there's a function for that which is right here resize so that's shortcut right there ctrl k and then you don't have to worry about any of this stuff just say okay and all you have to do is to click on the first point and then the last point and then scale all that stuff down to the inside now i need to leave some space on the inside so i'm going to do that and then i go in and move it around such that it is balancing there in the middle because i need some white space around the log which is awesome right now next to that is we will need some knots so I can pick the word the text thing and then double click here and i say give me the most important note because we are working on an a4 we don't have much space so all i need is a space for a note so i'm going to just create here a big word saying note should be here okay and now i'm going to divide that space because it's done and uh, let's pick a and by the way we can pick one of these lines which were provided to us before so i'm going to uh, use pick a parameter and let's pick a line okay because i want a black line in this s instead of a red one okay so this is pretty cool this is pretty cool so you can leave some considerable space depending on how much knots you're going to have for this project but make sure that we have enough space for that project name and the rest of the stuff that we are going to look at so we want to divide this space into lines that we can write in so you can see that this is currently divisible in half so in order to increase the amount of division such that we have equidivisions i don't know if that's the word we can go in here in snap guides and then we choose you can see that currently it's on half and then we can choose divisions with there are three and i need about four so we want to go down to set snap points and i'm going to change that to four i say okay and of course it's still showing me half and that's because i need to go back and select those divisions that i just created okay so now that that is selected so if i go back and hover over here you can see that right now i need i have four divisions so picking a line i can go ahead and draw across here 
hold down shift such that it's horizontal and if you wanted to make multiple lines so instead of drawing all over again we can select this one we right click move and then we have an option called drag multiple copies so let's drag multiple copies in those places so now we have this and that pretty cool now we have that i like it already and now we want to name add some information in this place so i'm going to pick the text tool and this time it's going to be a small one i think that size is going to do and then we say project title or project name or category i think that is going to work for us title okay so i'm going to position it somewhere here right and remember how we multiplied so let's multiply this one right click move drag multiple copies and let's align them in these places right here okay so we need a divider so i'm going to pick this field that we used before and after some space i'm going to create a one millimeter divider let's call it one yeah i think that that looks pretty cool and then after that of course is the project's title and all the rest of the information and i will need some date on the right side so let's uh, right align the rest of the information okay and for the rest of the information i think we need to talk about who drew the drawings so we need something like here so and by that I'm, I'm duplicating by ctrl shift d so if i ctrl shift d i should be able to create two more copies so i can go ahead and draw this is where the rest of the information should stop and we have date in this place and here drawn by and here who checked the drawing okay I think that looks great, although this looks a little tiny. So you can eyeball it or you can go in and measure. I think I like it. And now, even here, I want to close off this X box, okay? And I think for the titles, we are going to need them to be a little thicker. And we are running into some trouble and you can see that those texts have been increased but in the wrong direction and i'm going to undo that and do something interesting if you go to text settings there's an option to change from where it is referenced <laughs> currently on the center to the top part or the bottom part i think the bottom part is going to do the trick for us i say okay so now if i scale them up to like I think three was too much maybe 2.5 you can see that now they are increasing in the right direction pretty cool I'm happy with that okay it's just that these need to move a little up okay so right now so of course all this is not title so we want to have instead the location information after the title project title and you can see that it updates correctly once because we changed the reference line i need client information and then we are taking only the essential information about the project and to the right we need a date and who drew it finally here we have checked by that will do and since it's going to be vertical we can eliminate this division line so in case they're going to stamp on it we have much more space so in order to do that we might hold down control and click you can see it changes to a pair of scissors and then we click that and it disappears we click that and it disappears and we have much more space for people to sign in okay and then we have the date of course in this place which is going to be entered and finally the final thing that might be essential is the page number because if there are many of them we want to know the chronological order so i'm going to put here page number so that anybody that is going to enter should first indicate number one two three like that in this space okay 
And if you like to make this one even smaller, you could do a trick that I like to do. And that is to reduce this width of text. Okay, so if I make this 80%, you can see it becomes even flatter such that we have more space to enter the numbers. Okay, that's really, really cool. So there you have it. But I cannot leave without showing you how to work even smarter. And uh, for that, I'm going to pick one of these texts to show you how you can fill in these things. Remember, we are going to have title blocks almost in everywhere here. So you want to fill the things in at once and not have to worry about the rest. So that's why the, that's where auto text comes in. So right now we have been typing in things manually, but there's an option here for auto text. So if I go in here and click on auto text, you can see that we can pull information from all the things that Archicad has natively uh, within. For example, we can look for project name because that's what title is project name. There you are. And you can see that project name has been referenced. But now, where is this project name? In order for you to enter a project name, we can do that by going to File and Info. And you can see Project Info right there. So you can see that the here we have something called Project Name. So in here, you can say Proposed Residential. And this is going to show immediately and you can see that we have a bunch of stuff that you can input uh, outside information details of the building contract contact details so you can fill these things in here once and they will have to show so once i say okay you can see that that automatically is filled in there so you want to do that for the rest of all that information and once i entered it in here if i go back here you can see that it has been also pulled in this place because this is where they referenced project uh, information whatever we wrote has been captured also here so all this stuff that has a hashtag be before it can be captured once you enter it in the mass in the file info project info and then also the information about the modified by and checked by if you select any layout you can go to the layout settings and then you can put input that information of uh, modified by if you go to layout info you can see if modified by checked by so you can go ahead and input that information and it will automatically be updated in here but that's it that is it if you're interested in the resources that I use personally, don't forget to, to check the link below. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you soon.